Hello and what's up madlang people? Uh, you've seen me doing an unboxing of this one and at the end of that video I tried it using the MacBook and this Behringer UMC 22 uh, is like plug and play so it's just adjusting to the settings of your MacBook or in my case I was using the garage band and I've uh, demoed it on, on that uh, unboxing. We're gonna try this one using the Windows and the Lenovo laptop and let's see how it works. So here's the USB cable uh, that came with the unit and this is where you plug the um, USB lead. Right after you connect the unit you can now um, plug it to your um, laptop there you go and then you will see that um, the light is on now what we need to do is you need to go to behringer.com And then from there, you will need to search for the UMC22 for the driver. You can go to downloads and look for um, the unit. So let's close this one. Uh, I've already downloaded it and this is the website actually for um, the driver and then I chose UK um, for the driver that I needed so I've already downloaded this one and installed it's just a pop-up screen and then you can uh, just quickly install it and it's um, ASIO for all, so ASIO for all. And then let's try to uh, set it up with my Energy XT. So file and then set up or preference. And then it's here, it's ASIO. Uh, initially it was on DS, so um, we need to change that to ASIO or ASIO and then this one ASIO for all then um, click advance and then initially on this side um, this is off so you won't be able to hear it uh, through your monitor out so it's like this it's off so we need to turn it on that's the one and then now uh, it will send signal for the monitor so that's it it took me a while to figure this one out but finally I managed and yeah it's working now and uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope this helps and just remember that um, your recording software uh, the AW are all different so this one's for energy XT and See you again soon. Bye for now.